Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak with boldness your written words to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua the Mashiach's name. Amen. On Shabbat, during that time, Yeshua was walking through some wheat fields. His Talmudim were hungry, so they began picking heads of grain and eating them. On seeing this, the Prushim said to him, Look, your Talmudim are violating Shabbat. But he said to them, Haven't you ever read what David did when he and those with him were hungry? He entered the house of God and ate the bread of the presence, which was prohibited both to him and to his companions. It is permitted only to the Kohenim. Or haven't you read in the Torah that on Shabbat the Kohenim profane Shabbat and yet are blameless? I tell you, there is in this place something greater than the temple. If you knew what I want compassion rather than animal sacrifice meant, you would not condemn the innocent. For the Son of Man is Lord of Shabbat. Going on from that place, he went into their synagogue. A man there had a shriveled hand. Looking for a reason to accuse him of something, they asked him, Is healing permitted on Shabbat? But he answered, If you have a sheep that falls into a pit on Shabbat, which of you won't take hold of it and lift it out? How much more valuable is a man than a sheep? Therefore, what is permitted on Shabbat is to do good. Then to the man he said, Hold out your hand. As he held it out, it became restored, as sound as the other one. But the Prushim went out and began plotting how they might do away with Yeshua. Aware of this, he left that area. Many people followed him and healed them all. He warned them not to make, it no make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Yeshayahu the prophet. Here is my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. I will put my spirit on him, and he will announce justice to the Gentiles. He will not fight or shout. No one will hear his voice in the streets. He will not snap off broken reed or snuff out a smoldering wick until he has brought justice through to victory. In him, the Gentiles will put their hope. Then some people brought him a man controlled by demons who was blind and mute, and Yeshua healed him. So then, so that he could both speak and see, the crowds were astonished and asked, this couldn't be the son of David, could it? But when the Prushim heard it, they said, It is only by Beelzebub, the ruler of demons, that this man drives out demons. However, knowing what they were thinking, Yeshua said to them, Every, kind of kingdom, every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every city or household divided against itself will not survive. If Satan drives out Satan, he is divided against himself. So how can his kingdom survive? Besides, if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your people drive them out? So they, would be, so they will be your judges. But if I drive out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or again, how can someone break into a strong man's house and make off with his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man? After that, he can ransack his house. Those who are not with me are against me, and those who do not gather with me are scattering. Because of this, I tell you that people will be forgiven any sin and blaspheming, but the blaspheming, the Ruach HaKodesh, will not be forgiven. One can say something against the Son of Man and be forgiven, but whoever keeps on speaking against the Ruach HaKodesh will never be forgiven, neither in the Olam Haza or nor in the Olam Haba. If you make a tree good, functional, its fruit will be good, functional. And if you make a bad tree, if you make a tree bad, dysfunctional, its fruit will be bad, dysfunctional. For a tree is known by its fruit. You snakes, 
How can you who are evil say anything good? For the mouth speaks what overflows from the heart. The good person brings forth good things from his store of good. And the evil person brings forth evil things from his store of evil. Moreover, I tell you this, on the day of judgment, people will have to give an account for every careless word they have spoken. For by your own words you will be acquitted, and by your own words you will be condemned. At this some of the Torah teachers said, Rabbi, we want to see a miraculous sign from you. He replied, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign. No, none will be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Yonah. For just as Yonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the sea monster, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the depths of the earth. The people of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they turned from their sins to God when Yonah preached. But what is here now is greater than Yonah. The queen of the south will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Shlomo. But what is here now? is greater than Shlomo. When an unclean spirit comes out of a person, it travels through dry country seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says to itself, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house standing empty, swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits more evil than itself. They come and live there so that in the end, the person is worse off than he was before. This is how it will be for the wicked generation. He was speaking, he was still speaking to the crowd when his mother and brothers appeared outside asking, asking to talk with him. But to the one who had informed, he replied, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Pointing to his Talmudim, he said, Look, here are my mother, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does what my Father in heaven wants, the per that person is my brother and sister and mother. Yeshua wants compassion rather than animal sacrifice. Hosea 6.6 6. Hosea, always a little difficult, difficult to find this one. Hosea. When all else fails, go to the front. Twelve oh six. hidden in there. Hosea 6.6. 6. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. Here's another fulfilling um, prof a fulfilling prophecy from Yeshiyahu, Isaiah, Isaiah 42, 1 through 4. Isaiah 42, 1 through 4. Here is my servant, whom I support, my chosen one, in whom I take pleasure. I have put my spirit on him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not cry or shout. No one will hear his voice in the streets. He will not snap off a broken reed or snuff out a smoldering wick. He will bring forth justice according to truth. He will not weaken or be crushed until he has established justice on the earth and the coastlands wait for his Torah, his direction. Ooh. 
Jonah. Jonah 1, 1, 2. Let's see here. Another tricky one to find. Jonah 1, 2. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah. Jonah 2 1. It says two different verses, so we'll see which is which. Jonah 2 1 or 1 17, so we'll just read both. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish, not a whale, a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly on the fish three days and three nights. Not two, not one and a half, three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish. Didn't get to take the best of notes today because I forgot my Bible. And then yesterday, I forgot to go over the love y'all, love others, produce fruit, and bear one another's burdens. I will not forget today, even though I may not get all those answers today. But what I did look up is compassion is better than animal sacrifice. Remember back in the day, Adam and Eve had sons, and uh, there was something better than giving the fruits and vegetables, and that was animal sacrifice. And now compassion is better than animal sacrifice and desired. Shabbat, to do good. Shabbat is to be functional, to make whatever whole again as it once was. The man's hand was withered and was not functioning correctly. And what did Messiah do? He brought it back to its original functioning state so it could do good works. We are to put our hope in Yeshua. Be with Yeshua, gather with Yeshua. Do not blaspheme the Ruach HaKodesh. That's speaking against the Ruach HaKodesh. I really don't know exactly what that means, but it might mean something along the lines of saying you're a certain person being one way, but in reality, not being that person. That would be scary. Goal, to become a functioning child of God, Yahweh, by obedience. A prayer here. Help me, Lord, to produce fruit that functions for your glory and honor. Lord, fill me, my heart, with the Ruach HaKodesh so that my words will bring glory and honor to you. I really want to make a big point here about Jonah and the whale. Three days and three nights. You can never get to three days and three nights from a Friday to a Sunday. Friday evening to Sunday morning. Never happens that way. Turn from your sins to Yah. What is that? Repentance. The wisdom here is greater than that of Solomon. What was that? That was Messiah. So the wisest man who ever lived before Messiah was Solomon. And he was telling the preachers of the day, I am here greater than the wisdom than was that of Solomon means they were blinded. They couldn't see that. I think that's still true today with preachers. Some, not all. My preacher's awesome. Fill me, Lord, with your written words. Fill me, Lord, with your Ruach HaKodesh. Lastly, my aim and desire is to do what Yahava in heaven wants. Then I will be called a brother of Yeshua or sister of Yeshua or mother, father, the examples given. How was it that uh, it was demonstrated to love God? To love others? When we are compassionate, 
for one another. That is obedience, loving God. Also, compassionate to one another. That's loving others. Produce, produce fruit. Say the same thing. Show compassion. Bear one another's burdens. Don't really know where that one is, but I'll look that up later. Maybe a homework assignment tonight is to look up the English word for compassion, the Greek word for compassion, the Hebrew word for compassion, and write out in your own words your definition for compassion and then an action item of how you can start applying that in your own life. And if you already do all that, that's awesome. Encourage others to be compassionate and show them the way that you've mastered. 